Good morning. Okay, I'm at shops number two because they didn't have my white chocolate. And I really want to get some white chocolate for a recipe I'm making. So, here we go. Hi guys, welcome back. I haven't properly spoken um, in this video, but I'm hoping to be back to regular posting. I'm not too sure, like I go back to my master's degree next week, and so things are going to get progressively more hectic. But I'm just gonna try to film my weeks and see how we go. I might miss an upload here and there. Um, but just know that I have every intention to get back to posting because I miss YouTube so much. I'm also just aware though that my schedule through uni is not the most interesting and like probably not the most interesting to follow because a lot of it is just study and last semester was very busy. Like we were um, on campus most days from like nine to four. I'm not feeling the greatest, so we're not starting on the highest note. Um, but I think that's just a lot to do with my cycle, where I'm at, and I think I need a bit of a routine again. I'm just on the way to pick up my mum from work because I don't have my own car, so when I do want to use the car, I drop her into work and then obviously pick her up at the end of the day. So that's what I'm doing right now. It's also just nice, I feel, to get out of the house for a bit. Um, because yeah, I haven't really had much planned this holiday, so I've just done quite a bit of work actually. Um, and I've been trying to get into running, which we'll talk about soon. And I've been back into my books as well, which is exciting. I actually brought my Kindle um, so I can read if I'm waiting too long. Also, at the end of the week, I do have to head in to uni, um, which I kind of forgot about. So that's happening. So we've got some stuff going on. Okay, I need to go because otherwise I'll get copyrighted. Tuesday today I have just dropped mum at work because I again have to go out um, I've got a doctor's appointment in like an hour or so so I've just come and parked under this nice little tree I brought my kindle so I'm gonna do some reading which should be nice it's a really nice day but it's really cold outside I'm just gonna read my book and have a really wholesome time I wanted to just quickly touch on my mental health at the start of this video because it's currently not the best and um, it's something that I like talking about on my channel and on my platforms because it's something that I struggle with quite a bit um, and I'm quite open about my struggles with my mental health and I have been especially since retiring from ballet but um, yeah I guess I'm struggling at the moment with routine and maybe like a lack of purpose a little bit. I feel like I'm doing all the things, but I'm not feeling seen, if that makes sense, for what I'm doing. Um, I don't know if that's because I still rely on some sort of validation from other people, um, although I have worked at it a lot, and I feel like I do self-validate, I think maybe a deep part of me still um, is always wanting feedback and like seeking feedback from others. I don't know if any dancers can relate but I want to do a post on this soon because it's definitely a journey and everything is a daily practice which I like to preach like 
you don't just work or heal at something and then it's fine like you have to consciously put the work in each day um, and then eventually you land in a better place but it takes work and it takes time um, in my experience so I just for me like when my mental health is on the shittier side um, I feel just like a heaviness in my chest and I think subconsciously I'll try and like go about my day and ignore it but I think any sort of signal that your body is um what's the word like conjuring up I guess needs to be listened to like I think our body like that's how our bodies communicate with us and I found myself yeah subconsciously or unconsciously I should say trying to like suppress that feeling because it's uncomfortable but I think it's my body being like hey do something about this because oh I just feel gross and heavy in my center so I think going back to uni will probably help like having a bit of a schedule and honestly just pushing myself again in that area um Anyway, so that's like a big brain dump of a lot of my thoughts. I think too, it, like I am so self-aware, but I think sometimes that can be, I don't know, tricky as well to navigate because I feel like I'm always intellectualizing how I feel um, and maybe sometimes not feeling my feelings. So maybe I just need to have a good cry as well. I have just finished my period and so normally... I feel like my hormones start to calm down around this time. Having a little read and like just seeing nature and um, yeah, I might go outside for a little bit before my doctors will be good um, for the old noggin. But yeah, I just keep flicking between being so caught up in my mind and then being like, get into your body. Like, what is your body? How's your body feeling? And I'm just constantly switching, like, I don't know if anyone else finds that, but, yeah. But yeah, I'm going to be here for the foreseeable next, maybe half an hour. And then I might go for a little stroll in the park, just for some greenery. Um, but yeah, this is the fit for the day as well. I've got my new balances on I love these which with black socks which I don't know if I'd survive but we're doing it my Lulu tights and then I got this jumper off bronze snake I think that's what it's called I always call it something completely wrong so yeah that's the fit and I'm just going to the doctors um to get some scripts and potentially I might get a referral to get some bloods done because I haven't had my bloods done in a while and I think that's always a good thing to check up on especially since having chronic fatigue and all the illnesses that I've been blessed with having. <laughs> okay girlies we are out of the doctors. Tell me why the doctors is such like a nerve-wracking experience. Is that just me? Maybe it's because I'm scarred from um when I had glandular and I was going in like so regularly and like constantly getting blood tests so maybe my brain associates doctors with that. I haven't had my blood done in so long and I am iron deficient. I do take iron tablets um, and so yeah I want to get that checked and I'm interested in like my vitamin D levels and so that'll be good, um, but yeah, most importantly, I got my scripts as well for my EpiPen and things for my allergies. So, success. Now I'm going to go home, I think, and make some lunch and just relax a bit. It ended up being like, like I'm out an hour later from when my appointment time was. So that's not so fun, but what happens hey at the doctors unfortunately
Let's make some food. We're a bit hungry. We're a bit hungry. Aren't we? We're a bit hungry. I can't remember the last time I updated you today. I think it was like sometime when I got home. And essentially all I've done today is watch a movie and attempt to do some baking. Um, and so yeah, I'm recipe testing something. So that's in the freezer. And I'm off to get mum. Oh, things are annoying me today. I've organized to catch up with Margs um, tomorrow, one of my dietetics friends. And we're going to a cafe and a whole bunch of fun stuff. And maybe we'll chat to you tomorrow about something we're working on, which is super exciting. It's raining and I'm cold and drunk. Guys, I'm so sad that I discovered Noah Khan after he came on tour in Australia. Like I am obsessed with him and his songs. And I literally would not stop playing Stick Season when I first discovered it and then got really sick of it. And then on Rural Placement, my placement partner Abs, she like kind of like forced me to listen to more of his songs. Um, and then I just would listen to like everything but Stick Season. But now Stick Season is really hitting because I haven't listened to it in so long. So I think I'm just going to play that my whole trip there and then cooking dinner I've just um, picked up some groceries did I say that I picked up some groceries um, and I'm so excited I rediscovered these are these anyone else's like childhood favorite biscuits they're the hundreds and thousands ones and I think I saw like a TikTok or something about them and I was like oh my god that is so far in my memory and I had them the other week when I went to the Sunshine Coast and they were so good. So I picked up some of those and then dinner ingredients. Of course, lots of olives. I'm obsessed with olives. These ones in particular. Anyway, let's go. We've got stick season playing. Good morning guys, it is now Wednesday, I've just made it to West End um, and I'm meeting Margs here to do some work on something we're working on currently, which we'll probably share with you soon. <laughs> As we know, it's not a good indication on that tricking, is it? Why is that a good Because it can be a good on the conditions, like it's, 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 like, correlated to the Okay, I'm going to eagle work now. I'll give you a little sneaky preview, guys, because I'd say we're, like, a decent 50% of the way through. Would you say? So I'll give you a little sneak preview of what we've got so far. What you can expect. So just other things, other areas of impacts that I always have to have quite a Okay, you guys, back in the car. As you saw, I hung out with Margs. Um, we spent like two and a half hours sitting at the cafe, just catching up for a while, and then we did some work. Um, yeah, as you would have seen. But now we're gonna head um, to the park, like along the river, which should be nice and a little bit less stimulating because it's so busy it's literally like Wednesday I mean it is lunchtime now but 
when we got there it was like 10 and there's just so many people out so yeah we were gonna originally go to one cafe but it was packed so we came here which we always end up at it's picnic in west end if anyone's been it's really good i do like it um but yeah we're just gonna head to the river now to do a bit more work and then we're going to a movie this afternoon which would be nice um just to hang out we go back to uni on friday so it's like our final kind of days of freedom <laughs> if you will um and what else was I going to say? Oh yeah, and then it's Origin tonight. And I've guys, I've been getting into the footy. <laughs> it's a new era. Um, why am I in this section? Oh, okay. <laughs> We're leaving. Okay, I'll chat to you soon. My battery's going to die very soon. Okay, go. Oh, wait. You did it behind. You just go whatever way you like, babes. Oh wow! Pulls muscle. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm back. Whoa, my hair is voluminous. <laughs> we finished the movie. We saw A Quiet Place day one, which was actually pretty good. I went in sort of with no expectations. I saw the first two with. Emily Blunt and John Krasinski in it, and I love them and I love them together so I didn't really go into this one with any sort of expectation because it doesn't follow them anymore but it's the same kind of storyline but I liked how it was set in New York vibes and it was really good I liked it so if anyone else has seen it let me know your thoughts my camera's gonna die um, I had such a lovely day though, um, I think that was exactly what I needed because I've been feeling, as I was sort of saying at the start of this video, quite low and sometimes all you need is just a good friend and a good girl day, um, just chatting and we also got some work done which was really good and I'm just going to lock my car door because I'm always nervous when people pull up behind me. Um, and yeah, going to a movie, like I love going to the movies, so it was a very soul nourishing day, so love you marks if you're watching this. But yeah, we actually go back to uni, I think I said to you guys earlier, we go back to uni, not tomorrow, but the next day, and so yeah, that's a bit nerve wracking, but I'm excited to like get back into it as well, um, it's just... Yeah, the semesters in Masters are very crazy. So I feel like I know what I'm getting myself into this time, um, this semester, because I did just start this year, which is a good thing. But it also, like, I'm aware of how much prep I kind of want to do for clinic and things. I'm pulled up in the same spot as I think I was at the start of this video. Um, because I'm picking up my mum and then I'm going to go home, probably cook some dinner for the fam and then it's um, Origin tonight, so Queensland versus New South Wales, very excited about that. I do want to get a scarf, a maroon scarf, <laughs> that's like the best thing about footy I feel is like the merch, do we agree? <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm excited to watch that. Fingers crossed Queensland wins, like surely. Um, yeah, that'll be the rest of my day today. I don't have anything planned for tomorrow, although I was thinking of doing my blood test um, early in the morning because I need to do it fasted. But yeah, I'm not sure. I might just do that another week. I could potentially do it next week. We'll see. So I'm just going to sit and read again, which is really nice. I've got my Kindle, I brought my Kindle with me. Oh, I should probably give you a little recap because um, I told you at the cafe that we're releasing an ebook, but I didn't really dish out any more information. We still want to keep things pretty, I guess, to ourselves until we're further through 
riding it but we're definitely like 50% of the way there. We've both had sort of similar upbringings in that we've um oh my SD card's gonna run out I might have to chat to you guys later oh no okay we're gonna get through as much as we can but it's probably gonna cut me out but yeah we've had kind of similar upbringings in that we've both played sport and we've both dealt with Okay, I've switched to my phone, which is going to be completely different vibes, but we're just going to go with it. Um, but what I was saying was, yeah, we've both had very similar upbringings. Um, both played sport and both dealt with disordered eating and um, amenorrhea, so loss of our period. And I've had um, quite a few chronic what chronic injuries as you guys probably are aware if you've been following me for a while margie's also had a few injuries in her time so we've both sort of had similar struggles throughout our um childhood and upbringing and we're both very passionate about women's health and wanting to get into the same sort of area of dietetics so like gut health women's health we wanted to do something on like a women's health topic but we weren't really sure what um and then we sort of were talking about what we could write about and sort of landed on the whole hormone space because i feel like that's something that we are still learning ourselves um we've obviously got quite a bit of knowledge on it now having graduated from our bachelors we're both nutritionists so we have some qualification behind us but we're also studying our masters so we're still continually learning and refining and I feel like we're in a really good place where we um, will hopefully be able to offer you guys some good information some evidence-based information that will be helpful um, so we landed on the hormone topic and space and we're really excited about it and specifically we're delving into hypothalamic amenorrhea which is a condition basically where you lose your period um, for more than six months and that's something that both of us have been through it's something that i haven't really reflected on much so i'm actually really loving this process because i'm learning myself and i feel like i'm helping my younger self in researching and writing this um, because I never in ballet saw losing my period as a bad thing and it was almost I don't know if many dancers watching can agree um, it was almost a badge of honor that you wore if like you um, didn't get your period because you know, it made, it made you different and it made you feel that you were maybe working harder than others, which is just so untrue, but um, that's just the reality of how it was in my head. Can we see me still? <laughs> we're losing light. Um, so yeah, I guess my conditioning around not having a regular period probably until I was 18. Even then, I only got my period every two months, so it wasn't monthly. Um, I never saw that as an issue, um, which it can be for your health um, and probably played into a lot of my injuries that I got as well as uh, my sickness that I got, chronic fatigue. Your body needs energy and it needs nutrients in order to function and unfortunately I just didn't have the knowledge um, at the time to be able to help myself I probably could have looked it up but there just wasn't enough time I guess and I just yeah I didn't have that motivation to I guess back then so that was a long-winded response to yeah basically um, share with you guys that news we're very excited about it yeah we're hoping to have it all sorted and ready to release um, in a couple months time so we'll bring you guys along for the process um, 
and it'll be very accessible so you guys can definitely get your hands on it we're not going to make it ridiculously expensive or anything we want it to be very accessible information but digestible information so we're making it very easy to read um, so that we're sort of translating the science for you guys um, and hopefully giving you some good information that you can take away and apply in your lives and um, yeah hopefully reach for hormone balance and health I'm very tired though so that's the ebook we're super excited and I'm just loving the whole process I love writing and it's definitely something I want to continue doing through my career if you guys are OGs you'll remember I released an ebook would have been like four years ago or something now like very freshly after retiring from ballet um so I'm excited to be releasing another one with my gorgeous friend, Marx. That's all I have for you guys. A little update. If we have forwards, you get a bit of a run on it. You get the backs a bit of room to move. Mm. Okay, so we're going to have to get some more room. Yeah, so we're going to have to get some more room. Yeah, we're going to have to get some more room. Here we go again. Go, boys. Go, boys. Come on, Lindsay. Hoping to bounce back and now get to the body now. Good start, good start. <laughs> Puffy likes the popcorn. Oh, oh, fuck. He's tugged in. No, no. Well done, Hammer. Love you, Hammer. <laughs> Not the high kick. Oh, no. Yes. Queen's learn now. Oh. Oh, go, Hammer. Go on, Hammer. That's an origin. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> oh. That's the way Dale, you see how Dale he covered him, wouldn't that impact it? Wouldn't that pass it? Yeah. That's a high kick, I my god. Yeah. Oh, that's a yeah. Alright, guys, I am just getting myself ready to go for my run. Um, it's almost like 4 30. And it's 420. I haven't really spoken about um, sort of my running progress or any of that. So maybe we'll get into that in another video. But essentially I am... Oh, why is this watch shot going on? I am subscribed to a program. A kick program. It's a 0 to 3k program. And I'm more than halfway through it now. Which is really exciting. So I'm pretty sure today's run is... Why was that the most difficult thing? I'm pretty sure today's run is 1.5k. Um, so that's going to be my furthest distance, which I know doesn't sound like a lot, but coming back from injuries and my whole story, that's a big deal. So I always like to start this now because then I pop that away. I've got lots of layers on because it's free. But then I do have my little shorties on. Ooh. But I'm hoping I'll be fine once I get a bit warm. So I'm just going to do some stretches and then go. Pop the AirPods in, probably play Thunderstruck and go. Also, I got a new battery. It arrived today, so that's exciting. So hopefully it lasts longer because my camera was dying after like 
20 minutes of footage, which is not ideal. <laughs> Trusty Hocus. Okay, I'm wearing my black socks again because I can't find my white ones. That's a bit criminal looking, but <laughs> we're just gonna have to make do. I'm just running a bath, as you could probably hear, but I just thought I would give you a little recap. Um, obviously I'm home now after my run. That was very hard. Like I felt it a lot in my chest, um, which is sort of what I struggled with a lot coming back to regular exercise after having chronic fatigue. It's really my cardio respiratory fitness that is lacking. I mean, everything's kind of lacking. I feel like I've made progress since I first started running like a year ago. Um, like I can go a further distance before I sort of feel it. And so yeah, I did have to stop and like walk when I got to a K um, for a little bit and then I ran the rest. So I'd say I did like 1.3 k's um, and I'm not really too concerned about my pace or anything yet um, but yeah I'm still gonna work up to my 3k I have another I'm on week five now so I have four more weeks to go five six seven eight I'm enjoying it like I feel good afterwards for it um, it's really helping my mental health so I'm gonna keep going um, I haven't been swimming um, through this winter like I was planning on swimming when I went on my rural placement and the pool was never open when I tried to swim so I sort of got out of the habit of it and then since coming home I've just picked up running and haven't swam so I think I'll pick up swimming um, in summer again because this winter is so freezing anyway that's a little update I'm running a bath as you can hear and that's my Thursday. I didn't really film any of today other than my run um, because I was honestly just editing this video and I had a really slow morning this morning, which was so nice. I won't get to sleep in tomorrow. I have to go into uni as I've been saying through the video, um, but it should be fine. It's just like an orientation to our clinic this semester, um, but we are there for three hours. So I have to head in in the morning um, for that. And then I think I'm heading over to Marg's place for a few wines to kind of settle in for the semester just to have a nice chat. And I feel like whenever we catch up, we're always working because we like to work and we're passionate about what we're doing. But we also just wanted to like schedule in a nice girly chat time over some wine. So I think we're going to do that in the afternoon. And then there's footy, I think tomorrow night which I want to watch so yeah I've been loving taking my camera with me though this week like I used to do this weekly for years I don't know how I kept that up but anyway I'll stop yapping that's my little running update I'm gonna have a bath and I'll see you guys tomorrow it's currently Friday we've just had our little orientation session I'm exhausted. For, <laughs> <laughs> for clinic which mug starts on Monday, but yes. I've only got my first one like in week three. It sounds like there's a lot of support this time around. That's the vibe I'm getting. And what anyway. they're really just marking pass or fail based on their logbook, it sounds not mm. even. It's not even our performance. No. This was the wrong outfit to wear too, can I just say, because it's so freezing outside. But then inside, I don't know, they had the heaters going or oh, something. It was horrible. So I was like so puff, warm puff, puff, in my puffer. And guys, this is when your that is when your immune system is most vulnerable to get sick. Is that constant Infections. changing of hot and mm. cold? Mm. Yes. Yes. So anyway, that was our morning. What's the time? It's twelve fifteen. We're now heading to get some lunch, With and mama. then we're gonna have some wines. And have well, a nice. It might be a few hours in between the wine, but. <laughs> 
needs, I reckon it needs to be at least three o'clock before it wine consumption. Do you reckon? I reckon I'll just get straight into it. Fuck. <laughs> There's so much construction. I know, they keep changing it. Okay, well, I'll probably speak to you guys later.